My name is Karen Uhlenbeck, and this is my path to Mass. I don't think I would be doing mathematics at my age if I didn't have a new problem to do. I'm excited about the problem that I'm working on. One of my students uh, from the University of Chicago came to me with a problem about minimizing not a functional that depended on derivatives, but minimizing the maximum of a partial derivative. It's the limit of calculus of variations problems, which is what I worked on a great, great deal of my career, but it's on the edge of it, and there's entirely new phenomena that's coming out. When I was young, the things that little girls were supposed to do didn't interest me very much. But when I was in high school, I discovered books in the library about modern science. And the physics I learned from these books really entranced me. And so I entered college as a physics major. However, I took an honors uh, math course that was an introduction to calculus on the real variables level. And I just fell in love with math. I still remember uh, going to a help session and the TA showed us how to take derivatives using limits. And I still remember getting so excited and turning to the person next to me. The, and I said, are you allowed to do that? And I've been a mathematician ever since that moment when I realized that mathematics gave you the freedom to do all sorts of fascinating things. I got a, a, a postdoc at the University of California, Berkeley, because my husband got a Miller Fellowship there. I took a tenure track job at the University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana because we both got job offers. And I was an assistant professor there and very uncomfortable. All the other women were teaching calculus and not regarded as research mathematicians. So I actually, left my husband and took a job at the University of Illinois in Chicago where I had four feisty female colleagues and I never really worried about being a, in a woman in mathematics since then. I then went to the University of Chicago because I wanted graduate students and I got graduate students and they were fantastic. I still keep up with them. And I left the University of Chicago and I got a job at the University of uh, Texas in Austin. The first thing I did when I got to Austin was I bought a pickup truck. I'm into things like gardening and uh, long distance hiking, long distance canoeing. This is like plugging away at a math problem. I've worked in many different fields. Uh, I worked in the calculus of variations at first. Then I actually did, looked around and said, I want to do something different. And I wrote a few papers in a subject called dispersive equations, which have to do with evolution in time of mathematical objects. And I discovered that it wasn't really suited to my talents. I also spent 10 or 20 years working on integrable systems with a collaborator. Integrable systems are very special kinds of PDE. I was drawn to them because they actually appear in some physics problems that physicists were interested in. When I was an undergraduate and a graduate uh, student, the faculty at the Institute for Advanced Study were gods. You looked up to them, you admired them, they could do no wrong. Uh, now, they just seem like a bunch of kids. I can actually watch them struggle with uh, the same problems that I struggled with when I was uh, a younger mathematician. I still find the best way to do mathematics is walk. I can still walk and I try to walk for at least an hour every day and I do a lot of my mathematical thinking when I'm walking. I think to be really successful at anything, you have to somehow connect your imagination and your interests and your enthusiasm with the subject or, uh, that you're actually doing. And this is probably true for any discipline anywhere. You somehow have to connect your soul with the outside world.